also going to ask if you could please turn off your video cameras just for distraction sake. And I'm going to get started now. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so glad you could join us this evening. This is Julie White from Mansfield, PA, and I'm super excited that you're all on here tonight. Uh, we're in for a real treat. We have a seasoned network marketer with us tonight. And let me just give you a little bit of her background. Her name is April Wagner. She's from sunny Orlando. And she and her husband, Bob, have been married 39 years, and I believe it's going to be 40 years later this year. They have three grown sons and a granddaughter who is turning five, whom they absolutely adore. And they have been in this industry for 28 years. And listen to this, two and a half years with LifeVantage, but their lifetime total sales is over $200 million dollars. That's amazing. And they're pro eight. And um, April's going to share with us uh, about consistency tonight. So I have my notes here ready to take. And April, I'm just going to turn it over to you. Oops, no, wait a minute. You're muted. Let me unmute you. Um, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right. Thanks, Julie. Thanks for having me. And um, thanks for everybody jumping on tonight. And, you know, I do have a topic, a topic that's been really um, dear and close to us. Um, you know, as Julie had said, we've been in this industry now for 28 years, and you may have experienced this yourself. There's always um, people that join your team that you think could like set the wood on fire. They could just, they're, they're it. They're just going to build a huge organization. And then what you find out is, they don't do anything. They, they never go to work. They never talk to the first person. So I want to explain a little bit why that is because it's been my experience. And I used to say, it's just the amount of desire you have, but it really doesn't boil down to desire anymore. It boils down to being consistent in this industry. And I've recently found out why some people are more consistent than others and even better is what you can do about that. And so, um, you know, I, I want to talk about that, but it goes back to, as far as being consistent, it goes back to the way we're born. It's, it's the, the way we are for years and years. Do you ever notice how some people are very consistent in everything they do? And so, I don't know if you've ever heard of um, the marshmallow test. If you didn't, it's, it's kind of a, fun, a funny um, story there. Um, but what happened is they put uh, 300 five-year-olds in a room, one at a time and they would go in and they would give them a marshmallow and um, they would tell them if they did not eat the marshmallow they could have two marshmallows well 80 percent this is where that 80 20 rule comes in because you know 80 percent of the business is done by 20 percent of the people i mean that's that's life that's everything that we do so 80 percent of those children at age five ate the marshmallow they didn't wait for the second marshmallow. But 20% of those waited and got their second marshmallow. And so they followed those kids through school and found out that the 20 percenters were better students. And all of this is because they're able to, um, you know, put off getting whatever it is they're trying to achieve. So as they became young adults, as they went into college, they did better, as they went, um, you know, got their first jobs, midlife. Today, they're 65 years old, because this happened in 19, well, they were five in 1960. So they're 65 years old. They have had better lives because they're able to put off um, that, that gratuity that they want, that not the gratuity, the, um, uh, the prize or whatever they're working for. And so, you know, that was a test that was done. And more recently, about five years ago, they were actually able to look at the brain and they could tell based on the brain and science now, who was an 80 percenter and who was a 20 percenter. So we all know 20 percenters, that's the people typically in multi-level marketing, network marketing, that do really, really well. And they do really, really well because they're consistent. So if you sit down and you look at your list of people that you want to call, that you're going to pick up on the phone, um, you know, one of the ways to see whether you're an 80 or a 20 is you look at, if you're an 80 percent, you look at that list and you say, you know, this, this is not easy to pick up the phone and call my friend. It's certainly not simple. It's painful. I could get rejection. It's not pleasurable. Um, and so you think of those things in a very negative way. And so you're more likely to convince yourself to put off 
um, you know, achieving whatever it is or your daily task until tomorrow. And so that's what happens so much in this industry. And so over the years, Bobby and I, we, we ran contests and we're like, why is it only a few, a, only a handful of people actually try to win these contests? I mean, and sometimes it was like nobody competed. And I think sometimes you see that with Life Vantage too. They, they run these contests, these, these great contests, and who's competing? Hardly anybody's competing because if you're an 80 percenter, and really you have no choice. This is the way your brain is made up. But what I'm going to get to is how you can change that. And so if you're an 80 percenter, you, you are kind of out even before the contest starts because you, know, you don't perceive um, you know, putting off gratification for a long time. It just doesn't happen. And so you know, over the years, um, many a trainer have said, um, and maybe you've seen this, maybe you've done this, you know, vision boards. Make up a vision board, put the house you want on it, put the car you want on it, put whatever it is your vision is, if it's to quit your job, whatever it is, make a vision board. And so if you put that in front of you, that'll make you go to work and do what you need to do. The only thing is it doesn't account for today. So what they figured out is, you know, you really have to have an activity that goes on today. You have to be accountable for each day because isn't our industry a numbers game? I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I hear about it in Life Vantage as much, but, you know, we used to talk about keeping our funnel full, how we were going to keep our funnel full. Was it people that we personally knew that we were going to talk to? Were we going to run ads? Were we going to go out and talk to people kneecap to kneecap? Or how are we going to keep that funnel full? We always had to keep that. You knew more people had to go in at the top than, than came out at the bottom. But what it boils down to, whether it's friends on Facebook, social media, it's a numbers game. It always has been a numbers game because, you know, our theories are everybody will do it at some point, but not today. You don't know when they're going to be ready. And, and you know, I even think a, a step further, I find um, most people don't really put their toe into this type of industry until really their back is against the wall, it seems. It, you know, I, I think a lot of times those people that need to perform, have to perform, are the ones that actually do the best. But how do we get everybody, uh, you know, with that same mindset that they're going to perform. So there's actually this book, and I'm going to put this up, and I hope you can see it, and I'll, I'll go into it a little bit more. It's called The Consistency Chain for Network Marketing. And so I met these authors on a Zoom, um, I guess right after the first of the year, and what they said is having been in this industry for so long just so resonated with me because, again, you know, I got people in my business over years that you know, I absolutely adored, I wanted the world for them, I wanted this opportunity for them, or maybe I, I met them somewhere and they were the perfect speaker and they were just a charmer and they were very elegant and you know, this was gonna be a no-brainer, I had all the contacts, but what comes down to, and not their fault again, is you know, if they fall into that 80%er, and we're all 80-20 at different things. So, you know, you may be a 20 percenter at exercise, but not at network marketing. You may be a 20, you may be a 20 percenter at network marketing, but not exercise. It could be religion. It could be the way you eat. It can be any habit, anything you want to be. There are, there are, you know, things that we're good at and, and things we're not at. But applying it to network marketing, we know that being consistent every day, and maybe you've heard this before, the more consistent you are, the better you're going to get at your craft. So, you know, years ago, um, we used to run a lot of doctor's programs. And we used to do, we used to fax out to these people, and then it was just a phone call. Well, the only way, and I'm, I'm naturally an introvert, I'm not as well-spoken, I would say a lot of times my husband will just gab to people and talk to people anywhere. But I found because I wanted it so bad, I wanted to be really good on the phone, I wanted to be a top recruiter, I just kept calling and calling and following up and to the point where our old company, everybody would say she's the best at follow up and she's the best on the phone. Well, I don't know that I was the best, but I did it more and more and more than anyone else. So for me, the fear of failing was greater than the fear of achieving. And so when we take this accountability or their book, The Consistency Chain, what they're looking to do is have you set a goal that is easy, simple, and pleasurable. 
So when it relates particularly to network marketing, it may be, you know, doing two reach outs where you just actually happen to reach out to two people, which is so perfect with this time and just say, Hey, how are you doing? How's your family doing? Is everybody okay? Are you staying isolated? You know, some general conversation and then one invite, one invite to a video. So, you know, today it's, it's so much easier than it ever was because you can reach out through text. You can reach out through Facebook messenger, you know, years ago you had to literally pick up the phone and call somebody. And so it's real easy for people to be consistent and what, what happens is, and what I started with was accountability, is you'll find that the more accountable you are, the more you do a habit every day, and I don't know if you can relate, I, there were, there's a lot of things in my life that I did this automatically with, you know, a, a big exercise, a big runner, tennis player. So for me, my routine every day is to do some kind of exercise. It just what it's what makes me feel good. It's part of what makes me tick. You know, another habit is is reading the Bible every day. It just I actually have a Bible program. So if you miss a day, it tells you that you miss a day. And I hate seeing that. So, you know, there are some things that, that I've done right away, but you can imagine if you had this calendar and every day you put an X, and this is where the chain comes from, the consistent chain. Every day you put an X, you put an X, you put an X. And so it gets to the point where you've got momentum coming. Not only do you have all these leads and these people, and, and you can do a numbers game. You know, you can take two for a year, now you've got 700 people. Well, I think if most people looked back to how many people they talked to last year, they didn't talk to 700 people. But isn't it easy and maybe a whole lot more pleasurable just to talk to two people than to imagine talking to 700 people. And so you can see it's through this chain of just doing a little bit each day, which maybe takes five, 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't take a huge amount of time. As long as every day you get it, you keep yourself accountable, but more importantly, you keep yourself consistent because without being consistent in this industry, you don't have the leads, you don't have people in your funnel. And also the way you talk and where you pull information from is not as good because you're not continually using it. You get rusty very, very quickly. Bobby and I have always hated when our old company used to take us on these long cruises and we were really kind of out of touch because this was before the internet was so strong and stuff. And we just always felt terrible, so disconnected from our business because we weren't practicing what we were doing as much. We weren't actively talking to as many people because the whole boat would be you know all of our distributors and stuff anyway so it's not like we could practice you know recruiting and, and talking to people and, and doing the invite and stuff so um i hope that gives you an idea on what you can do and how you can do every day keep it consistent as simple as you know really just reaching out to two people hey how you doing show when you care you've heard all the leaders in the company that's what everybody's been talking about show that you care about other people and then send one invite or one video or whatever you're doing to send out to an invite to a person and you'll find you'll have quite a few people in your funnel at that point so um julie back to you i hope that was interesting enough for you all and give you an idea of what we're doing here yes april that was great we really uh, appreciate that uh such a, a big key uh in this industry being consistent and also being accountable and um i love that uh it it really uh, also can enable us to help new people, uh, you know, just teaching the importance of consistency. April, would you be able to hold up that book one more time for people sure. to get a little better look at that, please? Yeah. Okay. So it's the Consistency Chain by Jim Packard and George Campbell. Okay, great. That looks like a great, a great yeah. book. Yeah, they, they've done a really great job of helping all of us. And, you know, as leaders, it'll help you all understand your your people, your organization, how to, keep, how to keep them motivated and accountable. Awesome, yes, I'm gonna put that on my book list. Okay, uh, do you have a few minutes, April, for some Q&A? Sure, absolutely. All right, if someone has a question, they can type it in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask a question to April. Uh, she has so much experience. We really appreciate you being on here, April. It's just a real honor and privilege to have you with us tonight. So much wisdom. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Sure. Anybody have a question for April? I have something I'd like for her to speak to as a veteran 
network marketer, having been a part of another company, I know for two decades, coming into Life Vantage, tell us all what you see about the culture of our company, because a lot of us, this is really our first venture into network marketing. And what was it that drew you and Bobby to Life Vantage as far as our, the culture that you saw? Well, we, you know, we truly, well, even when we look back and, and coming into this, um, we, we just felt that, you know, God had such a strong hand on us. It was that other company closed very abruptly and then everything just seemed to click into place. You know, we were kind of told just to sit tight and, and just listen. But, you know, Dave's text came through and just the manner in which he came through, this is Dave Fleming, um, you know, we thought, all right. And just the way he said, you know, that he didn't know if Life Vantage was a fit, but he'd be willing to, you know, talk to us about other companies. Because, again, we were kind of off in this little cocoon. We really didn't worry about other companies. We never bought other companies' products. We just kind of really kept to ourselves. And, and you know, I could just remember one of the big products that we had with our other company was called Omega. Omega-3. And you all were just coming out with Omega-3. It was about three weeks later. So we thought, wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Because Omega back then was not very common. So, so that. And then um, we had another couple that was not under us, but they became good friends with us in the other company. And um, they really wanted to work with us again. And they're like, wherever you guys go, we want to come. And we just said, the chances of a company being in the U.S. and in Holland at the same time and having good time, we, we you know, just didn't think that was ever going to work. We didn't think we could work together. We wouldn't do wrong by them and just say, come wherever we went. So, um, so then when um, we asked Dave that, the, um, Darren happened to be in the Amsterdam office and agreed to see our friends right away. That's, that speaks volumes. The CEO of a big company just... Um, you know, and one thing after another, like just the, your, um, um, your convention was in Orlando and we live in Orlando. I mean, it was just like one thing after another, after another that we were just like, wow. But then once we got here and this was really what was shocking to us, you all were so welcoming. I mean, cause we know how to build multi-level marketing. We know how to build network marketing but we didn't know how to build your company. And so we came from an old fashioned company. We were there for 25 years where you had big packages. So packages would be anywhere from 5,000 to 40,000, which you got nice money up front, but there was no auto ship. So every month you needed to perform again and again. So we had to learn this auto ship and, you know, have really come to appreciate it. <laughs> we're absolutely loving the auto ships and stuff, but you know, so there was so much we didn't know. We didn't understand about, more of a consumer business than what we were doing over there. And um, you guys were just, the, the culture has been huge. I mean, everybody's just helped everybody. And whether they've, you know, been in our organization or not, they've reached a handout. And you're know, just so thankful for all of that. Awesome. Yes, thank you thank so you. much. We're certainly glad that you're a part of our Life Vantage family. Uh, we we uh, are so glad that you chose oh, Life Vantage. You. We're thrilled too. <laughs> Um, I have a question, uh, April. I was wondering if you could give us a couple tips on how you are utilizing the free starter kits this month. Okay, primarily um, going back to my customers. You know, so often I find um, as soon as a customer, I always ask for referrals. So as soon as a customer refers somebody else, you know, I always let them know that they have an opportunity. And, it, and it's kind of funny because even before the free starter kit, a lot of times, somebody that uh, referred somebody else and I let them know that they, if they joined right away for the $50, they could earn, you know, $18 or whatever it was, you'll find that they'll spend the 50. So it's just been the same thing, but I've been more actively reaching out and talking to them and letting them know that it's free this month. And then should they ever refer somebody, they'd be entitled to earn money right away being they were already a customer. So really just more actively reaching out through those customers. Okay, great. Very good. Anybody else have a question? Question or comment for April? Julie, oh, there's some other, nice group. Julie, there's some other questions and I've been typing oh. notes in oh. <laughs> kind of covering them up. So Okay. okay. Uh, how do you feel when people say no? I don't hear no's. 
of memory <laughs> knows because it's it's not about me it's about you and it should never really get to a no so what i do is i talk to you and i just answer whatever questions whatever is for you i'm not pitching my opportunity i never pitch my opportunity i always say i might have something for you might have something that can help you and if now isn't the time maybe down the road that's where the follow-up and all the touches we, I used to call them dripping. I used to just drip on people. And so every time I saw something that applied to you or I thought was good for you, I'd reach out and I'd say, you know, hey, Gary, this, this article is what you want to see or whatever it is. So I never get it to the point where they say no. Another question on here is what tracking system do you use for contacts and follow-up? Oh, um, I, I have a kind of a complicated system because it does – the emails and, but follow-up is important. So you, you definitely have to figure that out. You know, I have a pay for system that tracks emails and when you open emails and when I send videos and the whole bit. So it's a little bit complicated, but it, it's worked for me. I wouldn't suggest it for most people unless they were really doing a lot of leads. You say it's a paid for system? Yeah. Is it, I mean, cause we, we had somebody talk to us about rapid funnel yeah, I don't know that one. Um, like that, though. Yeah, I don't know that one yet. It's one that Seth Mulder's using. Oh, I did hear a little bit about that. So, yeah, maybe that works. I don't know. You know, as long as you can follow up. But, you know, again, unless it's tons and tons of people, a calendar will do. I used a calendar for many years, a paper calendar. I still write a lot on my calendar every day. So even though I have this system, I'm just old school. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I think maybe you've answered all the questions unless there's one more. Anybody have another question? I, I'm just curious. You, I, I, got, I got hold of the book. I heard you interview the authors uh, a week or two ago. Yeah. And uh, so for Life Vantage, what are the one or two simple, pleasurable things you do every day? Pleasurable ESP, yeah. <laughs> so again, it could be as simple as just reaching out to two and sending an invite to one. The book actually does a great job of explaining it too. He calls it 21, which I think is a little bit more confusing, but a reach out is just picking up the phone, talking to people, and then, you know, either sending a video or something to people. I, I like the idea of keeping it pleasurable, you know, because I, I think that's so important uh, for people to enjoy the journey. Yeah, and I think most people can work through just doing two a day. I think that's a small enough goal that they can, they can muster through it and feel good about the day. Like, you can't put anything off tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. So as long as you do it today, you're golden. Reminds me of the book back, Everything I Ever Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. I haven't read that one, but. <laughs> oh, from the 70s, 60s, oh. <laughs> uh, 70s maybe. Uh -huh. But just, you know, simple things. Look both ways before you cross the street. Always wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna make Say please. Coffee. Simple. <laughs> okay, anyone else? One last call for another question or comment from anyone. Okay, well, April, we so appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, we Thank you. love your leadership and, um, you know, just what you have to offer, Life Vantage, it's just amazing. So we want to thank you so much for being on here today. Oh, and, thanks uh, for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah. See you all guys at convention, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Or on Facebook. <laughs> all, right. all right. Have a good Bye. one. Thank you. Good night. Good night. And um, I also just wanted to share, just to remind everybody about the special that we have this month for the gut health, the prebiotic and the probiotic uh, being a special price. And um, if people are getting the starter kit, that's something they can add to it. And if they add in NRF2 along with that, 
um, that's 100 PV and would qualify them to get at least a 30% uh, pay, uh, payout for commissions. So, and then of course the ultimate stack would be a 200 PV and then we have our, our packages as well. So um, anybody else have a, a comment or question? Mark and Chris, did you have anything you wanted to add? I know they did their announcements today on Team Lifetree Distributor Facebook group. So you can go on there and see uh, what's all going on this week. And there's lots and lots going on each and every week. It's just amazing with all the opportunities that we have to uh, you know, share with people um, what Life Vantage is all about, our products and opportunity. Um, I'm just thrilled with all of these opportunities each and every day. I know Jackie is doing some and um, you know, the, uh, if you look on the PDF that Mark and Krista do and listen to their little video, you'll hear more of those things. Tuesday night, of course, is the company Life Vantage Opportunity presentation. And this week it's going to be Sharice Matthews. She's a pro eight, wonderful lady. And then our uh, success mastery training on Saturdays has been incredible. I have uh, gotten so much benefit out of that each and every week. So with that, um, I've got one. I've got one more thing. I'm sorry, Julie. I just no problem. was looking over some qualifications, and she's on the call tonight. Can we can we celebrate the fact that Lisa Majette has just hit Pro Two, and some of her team is on the on the call tonight. Go, Lisa! Awesome. Congratulations, Lisa! Oh, we're so excited for you. That's Not even awesome. show, her, show your face, girl. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I where is, where is Lisa? Can Lisa show her face? Lisa, show your face. It's okay. She's like, I don't have my hair done. Uh, well, if she doesn't. <laughs> there she I, is. I can understand Woo! that if she doesn't want to. <laughs> I just got back from my walk outside and I'm cleaning spinach. So, yay. Oh, wow. Well, well, congratulations, me later. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. We're very happy. And your team that's on this call. Yes, I saw. I keep on that. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, uh, with that, I guess we're going to say this is a wrap. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us tonight. And just remember, um, every Monday night at the same time, the same Zoom ID and password, uh, please uh, and encourage your teams to join us because we all know that it's really helpful to stay plugged in and be consistent. So we love you all. God bless you all. Bye-bye.